Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. This week in my studio, I am working on the second of three mosaics that will be going around the sides of a fountain at a church and a courtyard. I have already installed the first one. This is the second one. So this design is Moses in the Nile River. And let me show you where I'm at. Here it is. I've gotten a really good start on it. And I am working over here in this area. So I've got uh, the pavement in and I am going to uh, make the top of this wall the same color as this. And that's what I'm gonna work on next. Here I go. trunk and trying to decide what color of glass, what color of brown I should use for the trunk. And here's the original right there. A lovely reddish brown color, lighter than the cattails. So let me go back down here. Here are the cattails. And if you look at them closely, it's a very shiny, true brown color. And let me show you what a lovely I streaky amber glass, but it is really way more on the orangey yellow side and less on the reddish brown side. So then I went and found this one, which is true, it is more reddish brown, but I kept thinking to myself, I know I have reddish brown somewhere, where is it? And then I remembered, I used a reddish brown, here it is, for the rocks in the other mosaic. And even though this one isn't very streaky, I think I like the color enough to be able to use this on the trunk. Here's the other side of it. And I have a couple more pieces. So this is the one I'm gonna go with. that I'm about to make has got some uh, lighter parts and some darker parts like in the crook here and a little bit more on this side. It is in the shade of itself, of its canopy, so it's not going to be a harsh, harsh difference. So what I'm going to do is use the natural variation of this glass to put some of the lighter portions of it over here and some of the darker parts in this crook and on this side. That's it.
wiggly bits on this grassy bank. I'm actually going to make a few pattern pieces and just go this route. Um, it seems much easier at this point. And I'm not really even going to label them. I'm just going to go from left to right and cut them out and fill them in. riverbank finished and you may be wondering what's going on why don't I finish this area and the problem is that I have ordered some glass and I'm waiting for it to come in and uh yeah so that is not going to be finished right now because I don't have that glass but because I finished all of the parts that I wanted to finish except for that before I do the water I am going to go ahead and pull the glass that I'm going to use for the water and get that set up and maybe even start in on the water. Maybe I'll start in on this part of the water because it'd be really nice to, to hammer out this bit and have this whole chunk done right here. And then I'll just work my way that way. I did have one person ask me if I was going to be using a muddy brown color for the water, which is what I think of when I picture the Nile River. Uh, but as you can see from the design, the water is quite blue. It's going to be reflecting the sky. And then a little bit of, say, the basket and uh, the woman and some of the greenery. So for the most part, it's going to be quite blue. And then there will probably be some reflection uh, that's more light here. And then the reflection of these buildings here will go here. You can see there's a little bit of red from the blanket and the basket colors here. And then the other colors will be uh, mostly blue. So this is the glass that I have picked out for the third mosaic of Moses, which is Moses parting the sea. So it's going to have a lot of water. And I wanted some, some slate and some darks and then some more blues. So I'm using those same colors in the river here just to tie those two mosaics together. As well as the gold. I have quite a bit of gold. In yeah, I think I'm going to change that plan. I think I'm going to work around here first because I want to actually put the most gold around this portion. I'm going to really beef up the gold around Moses. Um, yeah, so I want to do this first and then I'll move over there. start on this but unfortunately I am headed out of town so I'm going to have to stop right there. Um, I like the progress on that riverbank right there and on the tree. Pretty good for just a couple days work this week. That's putting it together. Thanks for watching. See you next time.